In the middle of Parshas Re'e, the beginning of Ravi, Perak Yudal, Pasuk Aleph, there seems to be a Pasuk that really has two parts to it. And the question as to whether there is really a connection between the two parts. The Pasuk says, Banim Atem L'Hashem Elokeichem, we are children to Hashem, to God. And then there is the Esnachta, which is the pause, the middle of the Pasuk. And the second part of the Pasuk says, Los is Godedu, we should not cut ourselves. And we shouldn't make a bald spot between our eyes for the dead. Apparently, it was the custom of the Emorim that when they, the, Amori, the Amorites, when they lost a family member, when they were in mourning, so they would tear out their hair and create a bald spot as a sign of their mourning. And since the Jewish people were coming to the land of Israel, Moshe says to them, Hashem tells us, that we have to make sure that we're not like them and that we don't uh, uh, take on their customs and certainly not this custom. So what's the connection between the first part and the second part of the Pasuk? And I think the Rashi really answers that for us. Los is go to do, the idea of los is go to do means you shouldn't cut yourself. It means that we shouldn't damage ourselves because we are in mourning. When we are in mourning, we mourn on an emotional level. We mourn in our minds. We mourn in our hearts, but we don't mourn by damaging ourselves physically, nor should we ever damage ourselves in a physical way. And Rashi elaborates on this. And Rashi says as follows, that the reason why a person should not cut themselves, or today there are so many people who have tattoos for so many different reasons. And a child once said to me, they looked at someone's tattoo and they said, I don't understand Hashem gives us such beautiful skin. Why would someone want to ruin the beauty that Hashem has given to them? So Rashi says that Lefisha Atem Banav Shalmakom, because you are the children of God, Naim, and your Ra'u, you are worthy to look beautiful. What is beauty? Beauty is the way Hashem created each and every one of us. And so we're worthy of looking beautiful, and therefore we should not damage ourselves physically, neither over the death in grief, the death of a loved one, or for any other purpose. We should not damage our skin or ourselves physically, if not for a purposeful reason, for example, for a, a, a medical reason. A person should never cause damage to themselves physically. But the f- connection to the first part of the Pasuk is, that we're children of Hashem, and therefore we need to look at our bodies and ourselves differently. We have to look at ourselves as special and unique, and this is certainly an appropriate time to do so as we're celebrating this Shabbos, Rosh Chodesh Elul. It's the time of the year that we look at ourselves, we stop, we pause, and we say, wow, another year has passed by, and we may have done things that we never thought that we would do. We may have strayed far away from God and far away from where we thought we were going to be at this time. And nevertheless, Hashem says, no, 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 listen, Bani Matem Lashem, you're my children. And we all know as children, because we're all children of someone. And those of us who are parents know as well that the love of a parent to a child is a love that conquers all. And that means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu God says to us that as far away as we may have strayed, as distant as our relationship may have become over the course of the past year, please remember that you are my children and I want you to become close to me. Let's reconnect. Let's engage. Let's find a way to make ourselves relevant to each other once again. And that's what Elul is all about. It's a journey. It's a journey of reconnecting to our Creator, reconnecting to the dreams of the closeness at some point in our lives that we wanted to have with Hashem. And He's calling out to us in this Pasuk that we are His children. And therefore He wants us to be able to realize that we can always come home to Him. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.